Good day everyone! My name is Mark Dominic Siganaban. I'm one of the personal development teachers of the University of La Salette. And for today, I'm gonna teach you on how to create a good resume and application letter. So please have your modules with you. Together with that is a notebook and ball pen so that I will be able to so that you will be able to take notes of some of the tips on how to create a good application letter and a resume. So Let's go with our discussion. So, ano ba to? Ano ba yung application letter? So, for most of you, I believe that this is the first time that you have heard this particular document. So, what is this application letter? So, application letter is actually one of the documents or it's a way to say your intention while you are applying for a particular job. It's an old term that uh, employers or applicants are using right now we call it as cover letter so if your employer asks you where is your cover letter they refer into your application letter so an application letter explains why you are qualified for the job and why you should proceed to the job interview so bakit ganon so job interview uh your job application letter was actually sent prior to your job interview so that your employers will look into it and check well is this applicant qualified for the job interview so doon pa lang tinitingnan na nila kung pasok ka ba dito sa particular na trabaho na to so uh, that is for mostly for online job application so if it will be a walk-in applic uh, application when i say walk-in you come to a company and then you apply for a job so ibibigay mo yung application letter mo at the same time you will be interviewed so right away na yon. so for a job application letter paano ba gumawa ng isang magandang application letter so before we went into the different tips uh, in creating a job application letter. Let's go into the different guidelines on how to create the basics of an application letter. So, it should be a one-page document. Sa isang pahina, andun na lahat ng mga, dap uh, mga gusto mong sabihin when it comes to your job application. So, isang page lang dapat ang application letter. It should be single space, one-inch margin, justified so what are the different font styles that you can use when it comes to a job application letter pwede bang joker man pwede bang uh, chiller pwede ba yung mga ganong uh, types of font style definitely not this is a business letter this is a formal document so you must be able to use a formal font style such as um arial Arial Narrow, Calibri, Times New Roman. So those are some of your choices that you can use as a professional font style. And for the font size, it can range from 10 to 12 font size. So you actually depend the size when it comes to, do, to, to your content. Kung sobrang haba ng resume mo, you can adjust it to 11. Diba? Pero kung konti lang naman, you can uh, adjust it to 12. But 10 is a little bit small already when it comes to font styles or font size rather. So those are the basics when it comes to a job application letter. And it should be colored black, of course. Diba? Hindi siya colorful ha na, na document. So that is for the different, the basics of a job application letter. So... Ano ba dapat yung laman ng isang application letter? Kasi I think most of you, you are watching this video in order to know ano ba dapat yung laman ng isang application letter. So, these are the different uh, parts of an application letter and the different um, content that you should place on, a, on an application letter. So, in your module, if you will look into the sample, the first part should be the heading. The heading part of the application letter um, includes the employer's information. So, your employer's information, it could be a real person or a real company that you are applying for. So, it should contain the name, 
address, phone number, and the email of that particular person or that particular institution. Or, you can actually create um, your own story. So, it doesn't matter if it is a, an actual or your own story. For as long as you know that particular industry, you know your own story. Because dun iikot yung job interview mo. So, knowing that particular job and company that you are applying for, that is actually the thing that we are testing when it comes to your job interview. So, that is for the first part of your... Um, of the heading and followed by that the is the date so after the employer's information the date of the application and then your salutation so this is your polite greeting when it comes to your employer so the usual thing that you do or we we do is um, dear mister or dear miss and then you followed by the person's last name and then that is for that uh for the salutation part of the letter and then the most important part of the letter is the body the body of the letter it has actually has it has three distinct parts so just like an essay it has three parts so in the first paragraph you want to mention the job you are applying for and where do you saw the job listing so you should be able to answer on the first part of the body of the letter where or how did you find about this job application letter and what position are you applying for. So there are different ways. These are just actually samples, huh? but you can have another way of uh, introduce a uh, way of introduction in your application letter. So you can say that I have found in a news uh, paper I have seen in the newspaper in a social media platform in jobstreet.com I was informed by one of my relatives who is working in this company something like that that could be part of your application letter and, or you can also say that the basic information is about yourself like I'm Mark Domingue Siganaban I finished my um, education at the University of La Salit, um, with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Financial Management and I am applying for the position of something like that. So that is the uh, how you create the first paragraph of your application letter. So the next paragraphs are the most important part of the, con of the body. So remember how you gathered all the information about what the employers were seeking and how could you uh, how could you meet their needs? So this is where you will share the most relevant details of your experience and your accomplishments. So meaning to say, before you apply for a job, you research. You cannot go or apply for a job and then you just, you just be there. You have to prepare. You have to research about that company. What do they? Uh, what are they looking for, for a particular applicant? So, that should be the content of this particular part of your letter. Let's say you're applying as a teacher at the University of La Salle. What do you think are the qualities that employers are looking for a teacher? For a teacher of a Catholic institution. So, your letter should revolve into that. It should focus on the values that is needed for a particular job position. So, for and on that scenario, as a teacher, what are the qualities that you should be able to uh, have in order to, to become a good teacher? So, that is on the first, uh, on the part, on that particular part of the body of the letter. So, you should be able also to answer. Ito na yung gist Ito na yung pinakalaman ng application letter. The question, why should you hire me? So, why should employers hire you? It's It should be because of your skills, your competency, your values. Diba? It should, it should revolve on that. 
So those are the things that you can focus on when it comes to the body of your letter. And you can also uh, put in here the things that makes you stand out or distinct from the rest. What is this quality that you have in you that you think can make you stand out from the rest? So I cannot answer that for you. You have to look into yourself. That is why, if you remember, uh, the first lesson in personal development is knowing oneself. If you do not know yourself, you cannot answer your employer. You cannot put something in your application letter. That is why knowing oneself is very much important. If you look into the progress of our lessons after knowing oneself, developing the whole person, you know yourself, you develop yourself. And then adolescence, the, your own growth as an adolescent. Then stress management. These are necessary when it comes to uh, your job application letter. Then the functions of the brain, the uh, personal relationship, emotional intelligence, um, family structure and legacies. All of this, all of the lessons that we have are necessary in order for you to pass the culmination activity, which is an online job interview. So if you have studied everything about the subject, the job interview will just be easy for you. Because the job interview is all about you. If you know yourself, you can pass, you can answer all the questions. So you have to believe in yourself when it comes to the job interview. So primarily, that is for the uh, content of the body of the letter. And then the last part of the letter will be your salutation to your employer. You can also offer or follow up some informations. And then after that is the complimentary clause. Your uh, sincerely yours, respectfully yours, something like that, or respectfully. And then your signature your name and then your signature one of the common mistakes when it comes to an application letter is employers are not our employees are not or applicants rather are not signing their application letter you imagine this one i have give uh, you have given your application letter to your employer or yes to your employer and then uh, they will return it back to you. Would you mind to please sign your application letter? It It's a bit awkward that they are returning your application letter. So in order to avoid that, you should be able to place your signature. That is very much important. So that is how on... How, that is how you create a good application letter. So let's just have a recap of some of the things that you should be able to do when it comes to an application letter. So actually, it's important that you always write an application letter because uh, there's no such thing as the same application letter. When I apply for this particular company and then I will give the same application letter to another, there's no such thing as uh, as that. So. You have to always create an application letter personalized for that particular job application or for that particular company. And then you also use business format for the letter. And you put this one in mind that application letter is your job advertisement. And the thing that you're advertising is yourself. So you have to persuade people to hire you. And in order to do that, you have to focus on your strength as an individual. And then you can also make it brief. Your application letter it should be concise. Everything should be on that one-page document. And then you continually edit. From one application to another, edit, edit, edit. That is how you can create a good application letter.